Hello, St. Paul's. We continue looking at the good news about Jesus Christ as we look at Mark's gospel. Today, Mark 7, verses 31 to 37. It's a healing story. Some people brought a deaf and mute man to Jesus, looking for him to heal him. Jesus took the man aside, away from everyone else. Jesus did not perform miracles for the crowds. He did not do things to gain attention of the crowds. As with most of his miracles, they were signs that he is the Messiah, that he is God. He did only what God could do. So he took this man aside. Now bear in mind, when Jesus healed, he usually just spoke and maybe touched. But this man was deaf. He couldn't hear what Jesus might say. So Jesus did things a little differently. First, he put his fingers in the man's ear, the meaning of that being very clear that he was addressing the issue with his ears. He then took some spit on his fingers and touched the man's tongue. Now, other than being a little on the gross side, it was probably a sign to him of the gift of Jesus' own speech being given to this man. And then Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Be open. And the man was healed, and he came back to the people speaking normally and hearing, and the people were amazed. In fact, Mark wrote that they were overwhelmed with amazement. Another translation reads that they were astonished beyond measure. Overwhelmed with amazement, astonished beyond measure, because of what Jesus had done. The impact of Jesus' life and ministry in their midst was amazing to them, beyond amazing. But what about us? What about you? What about me? Are we overwhelmed with amazement when we see Jesus act, or is it just kind of every day to us? When we see God at work, are we astonished, or do we call it coincidence? Or when we see something happen in the world that God is involved in, are we astounded or are we skeptical? Do we take Jesus for granted? That we expect him to be involved in our lives and unless there's a certain level of involvement that we can see and perceive, we're not amazed, we just expect it, it's supposed to happen. Or do we take the things in our lives as coincidence? that you know, it's not likely God, it's just the way things have worked out. Do we look for explanations? Explanations that might write God out of the picture, particularly if we're sharing the story with someone from outside of the church. And we know that the world is full of scam artists, and we know that the church has fallen victim to this as well, with those who have purported to do great miracles and are just scamming people to get money and prestige and power. And so perhaps we just write everything off, not expecting to see God at work at all. We become so skeptical, we don't expect to see God. But the Lord is at work in this world, and he is at work in our lives. We just need to pay attention and see and know and understand God working out his grace in Jesus in our midst. And when we do see that, what will be our reaction? Mildly amused? kind of jaded, skeptical? Or will we be overwhelmed with amazement? May we never grow so accustomed to the amazing things the Lord does that we take them for granted. May we go on being overwhelmed with amazement at what the Lord has done for us in Jesus, what he continues to do for us in Jesus. Look around you. See how God is at work and allow yourself to be overwhelmed with amazement. Let's pray. Our God, we thank you for this story of people who were truly overwhelmed with amazement at the miracle Jesus did at this healing. And we pray, Lord, that you would take from us our skepticism, that you would take from us the ways in which we take you for granted, that you would take from us that jaded cynicism that is a part of us all too often. 
and that you would refresh that amazement within us, that we might see you at work in our lives and in this world and truly be overwhelmed with amazement and give you glory and praise always. Our God, we ask this in Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you.